Hey there everybody, it's Davini here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna to take you along on a virtual hike. And we're gonna go look at some petroglyphs just south of the city of Santa Fe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is a really beautiful area here with a lot of water. And uh, it's actually a bird sanctuary. There's a lot of waterfowl ducks and geese that um, hang out around here and one can only imagine what it would have been like 400 years ago uh, there would have you know it would have been a really really nice place to hang out uh, plenty of fish uh, plenty of duck plenty of goose to eat and um, those low kind of hills over there is where the petroglyphs are going to be found. Um, it was just like kind of this, it must have been a real Eden, like, a, you know, except for the fact that, you know, there were roving bands of menacing uh, other peoples that might have been a threat, but. Uh, other than that, I mean, this would have been like paradise to hang out uh, 400 years ago. And uh, you would have had, it would have been easy to grow stuff here because of all the water here. And, uh, you know, they they didn't do a lot of irrigating, but they, they didn't need to. So. And we're getting close now to the access to the trail. And as you can see up ahead there, and just to the right of the road, uh, you see all the, the sort of the low rock, not exactly cliffs, but outcroppings all along that kind of low mesa there. And that's where we're gonna hike around. Okay, and welcome to U.S. Department of the Interior Bureau of Land Management, La Siena Guia Petroglyph Site, El Camino Real de Tierra Adentro, National Historic Trail. Let's go for a hike.
a child, I would often spend a lot of time with my friends or more or less alone, usually with my friends, uh, walking around, just exploring the desert. We didn't have a lot else to do. Usually we were partying pretty hard, drinking a lot of beer and stuff like that. like it has been, I see it, it looks like it has a little soot inside of it, like something built a fire. I've never, usually when I come out here, I go left after I come to the entrance. And I've never just gone right like this before. Um, so this will be a little new for all of us. I'm covering different ground here. Whenever you're hiking around in New Mexico, uh, especially in places like this, you should be cautious about rattlesnakes. We do have rattlesnakes in New Mexico, and um, in some places they're quite prolific. And one thing I've learned is that if you if you make enough noise when you're hiking around, you will never see a rattlesnake. They will get out of your way. So if I'm ever a little nervous, I just make some noise. The trail uh, is a bit vague here <laughs> and definitely rough. This is some advanced hiking right here. Probably not really part of the official trail. I'm kind of trailblazing here a little bit, uh, following a lightly worn route up the mountain. Let's get a look at the view from here. It's 
going to be really hot today. It's supposed to, well, it's been getting up over 100 in Santa Fe recently. So it's been pretty warm. And uh, I didn't start out as early this morning as I would have liked to have. And I'm already beginning to really feel the heat here. All right, we've made it up to the canvas area. Looks like someone might have once built a fire there. Uh, and Usually you don't have to walk too far along these rocks before you start to see petroglyphs carved into them. Because there are some excellent rock faces up here to make inscriptions on. Looks like someone was gathering yucca root. I see one right there. And another one over here. All right. Here we go. Here's some beautiful inscriptions. Don't know how well the camera is picking this up. Let's get closer. Beautiful face there. And some kind of mysterious markings. I notice that often a lot of the figures include penises. <laughs> uh, and sadly, a lot of these petroglyphs have been vandalized. Uh, people come up here and try to scratch their own stuff on, on the rocks or over the existing petroglyphs, which I think is just incredibly incredibly rude right there that is probably something fairly recently scratched into the rock which is probably just some I doubt if it's anybody uh, you know if it's very old and these deeper inscriptions are definitely authentic and you can see that's probably like a picture of a Pueblo or something. Hard to say. Well, let's move along and see what else we find up here. Oh, and there's something else here. Not at all clear what some of these inscriptions are of. Some of them are just symbolic. Uh, nothing there really to see. Let's keep moving in that direction. A lot of these little kind of places where uh, the rocks, you know, have formed a little overhang, and I suspect I see evidence that people may have once built fires in them. I can 
can see my truck down there in the parking lot. Some interesting markings here. Well, it looks like this might have been part of a bigger artwork and then the rock fractured off. Behind it, that, that's certainly an interesting face. And this hatch hatchwork design cross hatching uh, there's some recent scribbling and some other kind of a face or something there Just remember to make noise when you're hiking in areas like this so you don't see snakes. like somebody made a pile of rocks here for some purpose or another. Hard to guess why. Probably to control erosion. I, I don't know. Oh, this is interesting. Look here. These inscriptions. Kind of carved out on a flat spot. Looks like some kind of god or spirit. Sometimes these inscriptions on the rocks, you they're so faint. You can only see them at certain times of the day. Uh, I found an inscription on a rock in the Rio Grande Gorge, and uh, someone had clearly written their name and the date 1890, or was it 1895? I can't remember, but uh, I went there at midday and could not see anything on the rock, but early, early in the morning before the sun came up, the, the inscription was very visible. And I did take a photo of it, but I don't know what I ever did with that photo. Not seeing any inscriptions here. Let's move along. Oh, there's some cool looking inscriptions there. Definitely animals. Quite beautiful. I 
got to be careful around here too. Uh, most of these rocks are loose. All of these rocks are rolling down the hill. But it's just not obvious to us because they're rolling so slowly that our feeble human consciousness can't perceive it. Nevertheless, if you could watch a time lapse of this area spread out over hundreds and thousands of years, these boulders would appear to be rolling down the hill. Always announce your presence to the snakes in the area so they don't mistake you for a threat. I see some uh, markings over here. It uh, looks like uh, some old markings mixed with some recent. Let's go get a little closer. Ah. There we go. Yeah, and you can see really obviously there was an old marking like someone had started a drawing but never finished it. And then someone came along and made some feeble scratches in the rock. This is ancient graffiti. You know, uh, if you think about it, the lifespan of most, most of the people at that time, the people who were making these inscriptions on these rocks, were probably relatively young, you know. Uh, if you lived to be 35, you were probably pretty lucky. That's pretty interesting. Well, I don't mind telling you it's getting rather hot here. I'm going to take this trail <laughs> up to the top of the ridge. There's a little patch of shade here can hide behind. And let's walk along the ridge line here. Little 
easier walking along the ridge line. And it is boulder hopping down below. This is what the top of the mesa looks like. And we'll descend right here. Some more petroglyphs to our right. That sun is really beating down on me now. making my nose run. Okay, looks like we found another duck. See a lot of ducks up here. I get the feeling that must have been one of their favorite foods. Seems like they didn't like this brown or paler color to, to write on. Let's see if we find anything better over here. Wow, that's like a straight up cave. Look at that. You'd actually sleep in there if you had to. Stay pretty dry. All right. Oh, here's a good one. Kind of shaded, but ah. look at this guy. Looks like it's about to fall off most of it. And right under my feet, there's another one. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Looks like Scorpio. <laughs> Hoping the truck starts. Uh, it's been acting a little weird lately. Sometimes it starts and sometimes it doesn't. So we'll see what happens when we get back. Not a great place to be stranded, but not the worst either. What do we see here? Not seeing much now. Let's get a little further along here. 
Nope. <sighs> Whoo! Temperature is climbing rapidly here in the rocks. Ooh, here's a shady spot. There's the Ortiz Mountains there in the distance. A friend of mine from Santo Domingo said there's a lot of deer in those mountains. All right. Well, I don't see as many petroglyphs over on this side. So, I'm going to head back to the truck. This way. All these rocks are rolling down the mountain very slowly. Which can make them unpredictable when negotiating your way down the slope. So it goes further that way. And there are indeed more petroglyphs in that direction. Uh, this video has largely been a test on the camera, so I apologize for any technical errors. Specifically, I think I had it zoomed out for a good portion that I didn't intend to have it zoomed out for. I'd say I covered about a mile, maybe a little more, or I will have by the time I get back to the truck. The official trail for this site, if we had followed it, I think uh, is like 2.2 miles or something like that. I don't know, it's back there on that board I took a picture of. If you need to, you can go back there and refer to it.
not a great distance but in this sun with these temperatures and the rugged terrain involved I would have to classify it as an advanced hike <laughs> I'm going to go through the fence here, so I don't have to walk all the way over there. <laughs> I'm just hoping that the truck starts. Forgot to bring water. <laughs> Never a good idea to hike in New Mexico without water, even if it's just for a few minutes. Especially if you have a truck that's liable to not start. Ah. Okay, let's see what happens. Yes! Whew! Oh, I'm so glad. AC. For a second there, it felt like it didn't want to start. <laughs> anyway, there you go, people. Virtual hike with Davini e. and uh, Petroglyphs National Monument, Petroglyph State Park. I don't know where I am. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this content, be sure to like and subscribe and share this video on your Facebook and other social media pages. Thank you.